On his bike and in his cooking, Cobe de Rameau makes the most of his native Flanders. He embodies the new generation of Belgian chefs and his restaurant is reputed throughout Europe. Cobe de Rameau is always on the lookout for the very best ingredients the countryside has to offer around Dranuta, a stone's throw from the French border. The menu of his restaurant in De Wolf features edible seaweed, wild herbs, and exceptional produce from his favorite local farms. In tune with nature, Cobe's cuisine is one of inventive simplicity. A day spent in his company will reveal its many secrets. The restaurant is actually an old farm. My parents bought this place back in 1976 and turned it into a café come bistro. Then I started working here. I took over the business about 10 years ago. It's called In de Wolf because just before the First World War, there were a lot of wolves in these parts. The road is called Wolvestraat, Wolf Street, too. In de Wolf literally means in the wolf. It means to step into the lion's den. We go pick almost every day because the herbs and this wild nature are what gives my cuisine its, its identity, its, its personality. Also, it gives the team a different outlook on what we do. They go pick the herbs themselves and have respect for what they do. Oh, a sea kale. It's like from the cabbage family. It's a great A ingredient. So we just take little bits here from each plant and uh, so we're not to disturb it so, uh, so much and uh, to, to preserve it a little bit because this isn't so common as it looks as it is here. In my cooking, I like to use plenty of salt, just the right amount, but still lots. Because we hardly use any spices, just those we make or pick ourselves, and no pepper. In cooking, it's always salt that brings out the flavors, just to the right point. This is the seaweed we picked this morning. We fried it, it's nice and crunchy. And now it has this aroma, this, this bouquet, that's reminiscent of truffles. You can taste it at the back of your nose. It's the poor man's truffle. We're going to mix it with scrambled eggs and people will have the impression they're eating eggs with truffles. We call it scrambled eggs, but maybe that's a bit modest. We do a special type of scrambled egg. It's a little more sophisticated, but very simple. We pop the yolk of an egg into the freezer. That way, it cooks as it freezes. It's actually a form of cooking. When you take it out, it's kind of like an egg yolk emulsion. And then we make a mousse, it's like a cream but without butter. We put it on top of the egg yolk, so you get the different structures of the egg. And thanks to the fried seaweed, you have the impression, when you close your eyes, you're eating truffle-flavored eggs. I love it. I want the atmosphere here in the evening at In de Wolf to be very relaxed. It's all highly organized. We try to do the very best work possible. But I want the people who come here to loosen their ties, you know, to feel at ease. We go to restaurants to unwind and relax. And all the cooks here take the plates to the tables and talk to the guests about the ingredients, about our discoveries. That way, there's a direct contact with the customers. Someone might talk to them about what they picked or what they cooked. So there's this contact. It's important for the cooks too because there's this immediate appreciation of their work. They aren't hiding away in a tiny kitchen. No, they did this and this and this. They go show the guests and say, here, this is what I made. There's transparency in my cooking. I want to do something very open. There aren't any secrets. It is what it is. When people come here, I don't want them just to come and eat a dish. Everything has to really go together. So there's the setting, the silence, the peacefulness of the countryside of this place. I like to think of it as a total experience.